Yosemite, over 1,000 square miles in size. It is home to one of the oldest plant species on Earth, the giant sequoias, which have been growing in this part of California for over 60 million years. That could be our connection. What's drawing the dinosaurs here? The sequoias are familiar, part of their genetic memory. Then this land could be a perfect fit for the dinosaurs. Okay, the horse is already out of the barn. That's a saying, by the way. There's no horse and no barn. <laughs> what Owen means is that things are already in motion. We have dinosaurs that we'll need to capture, and facilities that need to be built. Uh, but not actual barns. Barns, no. Expedition center, a paleomedical facility, and a response facility, yes. <laughs> Those should give us a solid foundation. Okay, hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Jay, and welcome to the channel, and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution 2's campaign mode, where today we're continuing our campaign in Yosemite Valley. A beautiful locale, uh, I think you'll all agree, with gorgeous mountains. Still can't tell if this is taiga or alpine. I think we can tell by the rocks, right? Okay, so it says taiga, so I assume it's taiga? Cool. We were just introduced, apparently there's large herds of dinosaurs in the area, and Owen went on about bonds for some reason. You know? Okay, Owen? Oh! Wow, that's a big wild area, like the camera won't even like stretch to the end, I imagine it just keeps going. That's, that's really cool. Okay, so we can set up, um, we've got a lot of space to work with actually. So I'm going to set up our whole thing just about, um, where, where should we go actually? Probably not where the wild area, actually yeah, where the wild area is. Let's set it up here. Okay, so we need all our general stuff. So we're going to set up first off the control center and the arrival point. Actually, actually do we need, oh yeah, we do. Um. Okay, so arrival point will be just by here, and then we'll start everything out from here. Perfect. Okay, so first off we're going to need a paleomedical facility. This is probably a bit further out actually. Then we're going to need an expedition center. Is this all on a slight angle? It is, that's fine. Um, and then, what else do we need? Response facility, of course. And once again, I don't think, um, like, money is going to be an issue here, so that shouldn't be a problem. We can just put things next to each other. And of course, we need a backup generator, which I've forgotten, as always. <laughs> And um, might as well put some other stuff down while we're here, like the science center and things like that. I really like the science center building like appearance, it looks quite cool I think. And um, finally, the staff center which will be very useful for us. There we go. How are you with photography? Uh, in what aspect? I think my right side is a little better than my left. Oh, and I'm talking about the dinosaurs. We're gonna want images of the species in Yosemite. Oh, and you're wrong about the right. Okay, I get it now. We can take one of the vehicles and go on a photo expedition. And, yeah, I know, my left is better. You're still here? I'm leaving, but I haven't left. You get it? I'm doing a layout. Go! Oh. Gone, gone, I'm gone. Interesting, okay. Pho a photography mission is very much up my alley. Those are always my favorite sorts of missions in like Just Park Operation Genesis and the Tycoon. So yeah, let's um, let's get into this. I think it's gonna be fun. I'm just gonna put down some dirt and some like rocks and stuff just to make this area look a bit more worn. Like even though it's, you know, we're only playing these missions for a little bit of time, I still like to, you know, take the time and make things look nice, you know, because why not? Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so we're gonna have to go on a vehicle, go out here and take pictures of eight species. That sounds fun. Let's go do that. So, ranger team. Now, this is something I can get behind. 
Oh lord, these parts are wonky in and out. Okay, so we're gonna have to um, unwonk that later. But off we go. My driving has got this guy in the back just holding on for a dear life. There we go, there we go. First species, what have we got? Parasolophus. I quite like that, it's peeking through the... That's a compi there? Okay. Oh, apparently we've got a comp on Nathus somewhere here, but they're so tiny. It's amazing to see these animals in something so close to their natural habitat. These it photographs really are like we're not just capturing the dinosaurs, but a moment in time. Which, considering how they got here, feels doubly weird. I think this is as close as we'll ever get to seeing the dinosaurs the way they were 65 million years ago. And it's breathtaking. You know what, it really kind of is. And this is really what I think games like this have the potential to do. It's really inspire like a love for something that doesn't exist anymore. You know? Hello, beautiful. Gorgeous triceratops. Not doing an awful lot, but just standing there very nicely. So it. There's another species. Looks like some Diplodocus over there, or is it a Patasaurus? No, that's a Diplodocus. The Patasaurus just looks a little bit like a squished Diplodocus, really. Oh no, it is a Patasaurus! Hmm. Shows what I know. Not Lighting's not great here. Let's go on the other side and take some of these two. Like it's walking off into the distance. Oh wow, it's a whole herd of them and I didn't even notice. Okay, let's see what else we can see out here. Foliage was a bit too dense there. Oh, there was a whole herd of trikes just over there. Here. I think you stay a part of source. There's something over there actually. I can't quite see what it is. Is this another Parasaurolophus here? No, they're um sticky Molochs. Or as I should say, juvenile Pachycephalosauruses. I know, controversial. Ah, <laughs> oh, there we go. What a bunch of them. Okay, only three more species to go. Let's go find them. I really like this environment. It's so pretty. Yosemite Valley. That's what, I think I spoke in the previous video about how I would love to go to America someday and check out all these amazing natural sites. Yosemite Valley is absolutely one of them. Okay, let's go this way. Like Yellowstone National Park. That always seemed like an amazing place to visit to me. Okay, so we've got Paris Um There's a few more over here. Can we drive through this? We might not be able to actually. Yeah, we not. We can't. We need to go back around. It's too, too foresty. I can absolutely tell you that some of these models were straight from Planet Zero. I mean, the foliage. Like those are just absolutely the same diamond leaf willow bushes that I use 24/7 in Planet Zero right now. So, like, I mean, it's not a bad thing by any means. Those models are great. It's just I can definitely tell because I place far too many of those specific bushes. Okay, what's over here? another herbivore of some description. Pachycephalosaurus. Adult sticky Molochs. <laughs> nice, a whole herd of them. Submit. Let's go find the rest. That waterfall in the distance is stunning. Uh, this whole area is so big, I just feel like I could drive around for ages and I wish there was like an open-ended version of this map, you know, that we could just drive around and photograph dinosaurs however long we wanted, not restricted to a map, or, sorry, a mission. 
I'm really loving this. One thing they talked about in the intro was this idea of genetic memory. Like the dinosaurs are attracted here because they have genetic memory of this place. And it's an interesting idea, but genetic memory is like... I don't... I don't know, I don't subscribe to the idea as much. It seems a little bit odd evolutionarily speaking, and I don't think there's much evidence for it, but it's a cool idea. Definitely good for like sci-fi stuff. I mean, it could be real, who knows, like um, if there's new research and stuff. But the idea that you can preserve like specific memories in genomes, I don't know, it's a bit odd. I don't necessarily think it makes the most sense. And Pseudoceratops, looking stunning in this lighting. Oh, that wasn't a great photo, was it? Maybe if I just zoom out a little bit. They do look re uh, really good here. But yeah, I think the genetic memory thing, I don't know, it's just another interesting element to this whole Jurassic World um, like franchise, I guess. Oh wow. Look at that. That is... that is something else. Like, there's no dinosaurs here, but I just want to take that photo. Look at that social behavior over there. Only one species we haven't seen yet. I wonder what it is. <laughs> Caused a bit of a stampede back there. I guess it's up here somewhere. I really don't know how they expected us to take a photo of a Comsuck Nathus. Like, I got that by accident. I would not have seen it by any means. It's so tiny and I don't know why they're like treated as a regular dinosaur in this game when they should have like a specific way of containing them instead of like just putting them in a habitat. You would not see them. They're just way too small. Okay, there's something over there. To sleep, I think, whatever it is. Is it a carnival? It's a baryonyx. Sleeping baryonyx, cool. Back home. We need our remote capture teams bringing back the most dangerous dinosaurs. The safety of the public and the dinosaurs are both at stake. I'm your man. And, uh, and I'm your man. I know. Once we have them, we'll get them secured within our new facility. And I know. So be careful. I could do with a little less of the Claire Owen romance. I don't know, it's never been a gripping part of the movies for me, so a little less of that would not go amiss. Also, we totally missed those Gallimimus and they were flocking right next to the car, which is really cool. Okay, we're back home. Um, I'm just going to quickly flatten out this path because it's going to annoy me. I think there's not much we can do because it's all on really oddly shaped terrain, but hmm, smooth it out best we can. Hmm. There's only so much we can do here, really. But hey-ho, there we go. Okay, we got a big asset rating and we got to get some carnivores. Oh, Cryolophosaurus. Oh my gosh. Troodon, uh, Albertosaurus. Oh, fatality is confirmed. Okay, here's so this. This is where it gets intense. Cryolophosaurus. Dilophosaurus. Mm hmm. Metricansaurus and Allosaurus. We're going to go for the Cryolophosaurus first. Mm hmm. We only need Kolev. Good on you, Kolev. Okay, so where can we build? Well, everywhere, basically. Let's do this one over here. I'm gonna stick the angular building method because... I don't know, um... Because these are research facilities, not really parks, so to speak. I think the angular style really, like, works well, and it keeps the parks looking very neat, which I really, really like. Okay, so if this is gonna be a carnivore-heavy park, we are going to need to be like quite focused on um, really upping our research. I 
um, in terms of like getting new enclosures and stuff because if not we are going to desperately struggle I think Okay, that looks good. Well, it's not exactly the smoothest, but, you know, we got this. God, that is definitely not the smoothest, but, you know, we do, we make do, we make do. Okay, some water for the Crylophosaurus. I'm so excited to see this dinosaur. It was one of the last to be revealed, I believe, and it was just stunning. Like, such a good design. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what this guy has to offer. I'm just going to make the habitat somewhat nice before it arrives because then we won't have as much time to really do stuff. God, I'm loving these new rocks. Perfect, two Pylophosaurus. Oh, that looks beautiful. So excited. Okay, here we go. Two of them here. Gate. Um... We're also going to need something for their visibility, of course. Um, let's put... Um, where is it? It's under facilities. Okay. Transportation complete. Asset okay, where is our guy? Oh, I need to put in the thingy. Add task, go check. Oh no. Oh, okay, so cancel that. I don't think they have any medical issue. I was just clicking the wrong building. Um, oh, it's here. So far, so good. And they look great. They're very green. I like that. I'm going to name you Kiwi. And I'm going to name you... Um... Kia, like the bird. They're both two New Zealand um, birds, so thought that fit them. They're both from the kind of the Ar the Antarctic, so pretty far down south. They both look great. What are they missing? Um, forest and that's fine. So they just need some goats, basically. They got op enough open space. Um, so just, they just need a goat now, basically. Um, I like that you can access the feeders from two different menus now. That's helpful. Yep, and that should be able to view everything. And now we can send these guys out to go and collect more. Hmm. It'd be cool to get an Albertosaurus, actually. Off they go. While they're gone, I'm going to train up some of my staff. Oh! Oh, do I not have a control center? I do not have a control center. Interesting. Let's put that over here. There we go. This is going to irritate me a little bit, but don't think there's much we can do about it. Um see can we do anything about it not that I can tell I think I just made it worse but that's okay okay they those two are off and um, 
once this control center is built, yeah, let's see if we can um, upgrade our scientists. Train. Oh, apparently not. Well, let's do some research then. Oh, we need to research the fences. That's a good... That's something we should do. And after this, we've got to rest our scientists. Wow. Look at that crest. Stunning dinosaur right there. I think they did a really fantastic job on the Pylosaurus. Like, it looks really good and quite realistic, I think. The arms are right, the proportions all feel pretty good. I would like feathers, obviously, but that's just me. I always want feathers. Otherwise, I've had a really tremendous job on this animal, and I'm gonna... I'm gonna take a picture of it. Once it gets into a little bit more of a... a, lot, a more bright position. There we go. Um, it's a bit dark. I'll wait for I'll wait for the lighting to get a bit better before we take some put photos of him. Very dramatic. What's the other one doing? Where are you, Kiwi? Hello, Kiwi. Wow, look at the detail on that head. The color is really great too. Oh, it's just gone right back to sleep. My cat used to do that all the time. She'd get up and then immediately go right back down to sleep. Oh, a little scratch. Okay, we've got a medium electrified fence. Can we just upgrade this fence um, immediately? Yes, we can. Oh, it's building very slowly. <laughs> oh, oh. I completely forgot that we, um... <laughs> Give me two minutes. <laughs> okay, that's the first time I've needed to do that. And, um... I need to re-replace this because this is... Why does this not have power? Are we just out of power in general? Yeah, we, we are. Fill up. Okay, so we're gonna need to make. We'll finish up that fence in a bit, but right now we need um, an Albertosaurus habitat, which we're gonna build this over here. Yeah, just over here. We're going to smooth out the terrain a bit, but that's fine. Oh, and people can climb that, right? <laughs> okay, I'm just going to try and flatten this out a bit because it's being really weird. Okay, there we go. Water. We can get rid of this water a little bit. Okay, then... Flatten this out. This is definitely more than two minutes, but I'm sure <laughs> we can live with that. Okay, there we go. That should be a good amount of space. Oh, sorry, I just went quiet for a bit. I was just like, hmm, what do I do here? So I do apologize if I just go quiet like that out of nowhere. It's just my brain being like, hmm, what do I do now? It's not snapping for some reason. I think it's just because it's too close to 
the uh, wall up here. Oh, that does not that's not what I wanted to do at all. Okay, that's fine. Close enough. Okay, let's um, get the rest of its habitat ready. It's gonna need one of those. Gonna need one of these. It's gonna need some water. Of course, all the standard stuff first. And then, um, oh, of course, and a gate. That's pretty important. And we're gonna need to send over our team now. Go and check out our Elodosaurus. And then, of course, pretty important thing here is to get a viewing area in. And, uh, yeah. Should be pretty much all set. Alberta source, just as gorgeous as she was in just World Revolution 1. Oh, that's a good roar. I feel like they have, like, update, updated some of the textures, like with the eyebrows and stuff. Do you hear that? Is that a phone? What on earth is that? I heard a phone. Did you you heard that phone, right? Your name is gonna be Albie. I still hear a phone. Is that coming from the Albertosaurus? I wait a second. What did it say about the Albertosaurus? Maybe there was something there, like it ate a phone or something. It said fatalities, I think. There was definitely a phone ringing inside this Albertosaurus or something like that. Which I think, if if I'm not mistaken, is probably an Easter egg of some kind to look at, but... There it is again! Okay, Albie is ill. Let's get Albie some help. But also, what do you need? Uh, do you need rock? Sand and rock. Okay, there's plenty of rock. Now you need um, sand. Okay, that's perfect. It there's a phone ringing inside this. Oh. <laughs> There it is! Injured, swallowed phone! Oh, I love that! Okay, let's get that phone out of you. Um, I think... Is this um, something you can heal? Or no? This is something you need to be... Um, you need to be... Oh, wrong thing. Do you have a trans... We have a capture team, right? Okay. So you need to be tranquilized and then um, moved. Where is... Does it need to be rechecked or something? No, it doesn't. I saw like a notification there briefly. I'm liking this habitat. I like that it goes up on this second level here. I'm just gonna briefly um, walk on the path a bit so that we can start making our way over to like other habitats and start going down as well further. If there's baryonyx, we can immediately put them into the um, uh, this area with the pond because you know water for them they'll be very happy with that tranquilized okay great come on albie let's get you all fixed and um kolev are you willing to do this oh no we just need both for us okay asset. while this is happening i'm gonna rest everyone else you need rest um, the rest are fine for the most part. You should get some rest as well. Um, tough hand to view research. Any other research that needs to be done. We get a large electrified fence, but we need more of our staff for that. Instead, I'm gonna... Oh, okay, never mind. We need staff for everything. Let me speed up time a little bit. Okie doke, I'll be, come on. Oh god, that, <laughs> that was a bit of a, bit of a janky, uh, oh yeah, it's because it's in, like, full speed, of course it's gonna look horrendous when he's getting, like, tossed all over the place. 
Oh, Albie, that is not the most, um... <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Now, that is... That is really cool, the fact that he followed a phone. Really cool. And uh, it works as an Easter egg to Jurassic Park 3, but also just as a concept, this happens with animals. Animals swallow all sorts of things, you know? That's why they, th you know, they say at the zoo, don't throw things in there, because an animal will eat it. Can't access any decorations, but that makes sense for the, the campaigns we're doing. Okay, let's transport you back home. Asset collection request received. And once these these guys are done resting, we'll send you back over to collect more carnivores. Look at these gorgeous Phylophosaurus here. Um, hmm. Where's the other one? Oh, they're both here. Okay. Once again, I'm gonna attempt to take a screenshot, and I will fail miserably. This might be a good one. Oh, that's cool. Okay. I like that. Nice. Kiwi and Kia. Okay, let's see if... Um, let's speed up time a bit so these two finish their rest as well, and we get Albi back into her habitat, or his habitat. Okay, both scientists are ready. Let's uh, send them out to get more more dinosaurs. They all do look a little bit similar, the buildings here. But obviously it's because they're, you know, practical research buildings. A Trodon, three Mathriacanosaurus. Herrerasaurus is one of my favorites. I do love them. Okay, off you go. So now they're going to get the Herrerasaurus. Let's build a habitat for them. Do one over here. Herrerasaurus are a bit smaller. I'm, I'm sure they're not going to need anywhere near as big a habitat. works though like I mean the 3x3 three three system works pretty well for me if you ask oh my god please don't tell I did mess it up oh of course I did no wonder it was all like wonky it felt wonky to me I didn't even notice Okay, now I just gotta really hope the Albotosaurus doesn't escape while I'm doing this. Okay. Fingers crossed. Oh my god, that fence is building very slowly. If at all. Oh my god, no, they're building that fence first before they even start on this one. Okay, there we go, it started. Hopefully, Albi doesn't decide to do a runner. Albi, where are you? Okay, you're over there. Mm. Oh, there we go. Okay, they got three of them. Were there three? Nice. Asset transportation in progress. Okay, there you go. Gate, of course, perfect. And then, um, uh, oh, a viewing gallery. Asset transportation complete. Nice. All sorted. And uh, just smooth out things again, as usual. And then we need um, one of these things. And, um, some goats, of course. And uh, they'll need some water as well. Okay, um, let's get our ranger team over here to check them out. Where is... I swear I forget which ones they are all the time. Okay, you need to go and check these guys out. Let's 
so we're about halfway now. I wonder what else we can do to get our thing up. I imagine getting the Allosauruses will really boost our score. It's quite a small area, maybe the Trollodon would be good for this area. Did you see those Baryonyx? Or am I imagining that? Is it because I just saw the Baryonyx earlier? I think it was from the previous mission where we saw Baryonyx, that's what I'm thinking of. Hmm. Okay. You can't even see the whoever source now, it's just too dark. I'll wait for it to be light before we have a closer look at them and name them. Looks like it's just a default colour if I'm not mistaken, which is very similar to the to the one we had in um Oh no, it's got like some Oh no, is that scarring? Oh, I remember that animation very well. Classic whoever source animation. Oh, they all have ailments as well. Okay, so we're gonna need the MVU to come in and do some work. Just a one of them, actually. But yeah, they look good. I'm not actually. I don't know how I feel about this purple. Is it an ailment? I c oh yeah, no, that's scarring for sure. It's not the actual color. Oh yeah, whoever saw us. What should we name them? Hmm. I don't know what to name them. We'll, we'll give it a we'll give it a while before we name. Them. They don't need, we don't need to uh, decide right now. They've got a perfect habitat. Actually, we don't need to do anything with them, and they've used up the whole area for their their territory, which is nice. So let's go send out someone to get that Allosaurus near Big Rock, which I imagine are the same is the same Allosaurus from well Battle of Big Rock. So let's make that habitat. It's going to need to be a relatively big one for two Allosauruses. Sure that, yeah, I'm sure that's going to take a chunkier habitat. Okay. I think that should hopefully do us. Hopefully. Hmm, why isn't it lining up? Okay, there we go. Now try and smoothen this out a little bit. I think it's a pretty decent sized habitat. Let's um get some eyes in there. It's pretty good actually, you can see most of it. Okay, so this was oh it's a major fracture. Okay, we gotta get you healed ASAP, so need you to tranquilize this guy it seems I can assign the capture team to the um, post does that mean we can like do we can do like a um, recon via the via the air like via helicopter because if so that would be really useful Okay, so that's all ready for for our two Allosaurus to arrive whenever they do. Plenty of viewing space. Like this should cover most of the habitat. Should you cover more? I think we are pretty good for viewing for the most part, unless they really decide to like hide out in the corners of the habitat, we should be good. Okay, let's grab, um, where's our Herosaurus? In the corner, you're gonna go get healed. Picking up asset. I think I made a mistake.
Yeah, I did. Okay. It's just gonna be, and I need to assign the scientist because I forgot to do that. Oh. Okay, it's our Allosaurus. From California. Big Rock. That's so cool that they integrated the Big Rock stuff. Asset transportation underway. Transit has commenced. Now, Pseudoceratops really has seemed to have taken the place of, like, Triceratops as the uh, new, like, big, um, uh, Ceratopsid, you know, like, for the series. Which is fine. It's just an um, interesting choice. Both of these look to be the base Allosaurus skin, which is fine. Like, I really love the Allosaurus models. They're really good. Like, better than the ones in the movies, I think. Personally. Oh, wow. Who, whose role was that? That was something. Okay, so it's already been assigned, right? Yeah, okay. I don't know why you need to assign a capture team to them. I don't really understand how that works. It isn't really explained. Um. Okay, there he goes. Already here, and then I can uh, assign someone. Parasaurus was always one of my favorites in the past game. Okay, there we go. Start task. Now you should be healed. Well, that's going. We should. I think we only need one more, like, really nice big carnivore. Let's do the metric and the saurus. Why not? From Phoenix. Phoenix, Arizona. I don't know much about Phoenix. I've heard, well, like, you know, 14-year-old Jay who's obsessed with conspiracy theories, you know, read loads about, like, the Phoenix lights and, uh, you know, like, UFO stuff to do with, um, Phoenix, basically. But that's all I really know about it. <laughs> I feel like some of my fences might be wonky, and I'm not sure which. This has to be wonky, right? I can't... Hmm. I cannot tell, and it's gonna bother me, but it's okay. This should be enough for three Methriacanthosauruses, right? Yeah, and then um, it'll need more power. I'm really surprised they're not like having us build power stations, just just backup generators the whole time. Okay, you all good? Transport. Acknowledging asset collection request. Did I put it in the right habitat? This is the Herosaurus one, right? I would name these guys, but there's four of them and I can't think of enough names. What about you? That is... I love this skin so much. And this, this model, specifically. That looks like a really good Allosaurus to me. Um, I believe the subtype here is meant to be... Um, Allosaurus Fragilis, but I think, if I'm not mistaken, it's meant to, it resembles Allosaurus Jimitseni a lot more. But, uh, I can't remember whether that's right or not. Okay, water. Some forest. I already put down a goat feeder. Um, put on one of these. Need a gate as well. And then, what am I missing? Oh, I need some viewing areas, of course. That should be fine, but it's a bit too close. Let's delete that. Then I'll put one of these here. I might need a second one because of the, the location of this one. Yeah, I'll put on a second one over here. Oh, okay, are they on the way? Nice, all three of them. Oh wow, Metric had this sort of without the pattern is kind of cursed, not gonna lie. Because that was the most distinctive species in the, um... Sorry, not the most distinctive species. The most distinctive thing about the species was its patterning in the first game, and now suddenly it doesn't have one. It's just so odd. It's a little bit cursed, God, not gonna lie. That should be... Yeah, two viewing galleries. All good. I think they should be fine in this habitat, and then we need to get the, um... The ranger team to quickly check them out as well. Need to resupply them. Transportation Go up. Complete. Okay, and then um, add a final task for you guys. Hopefully, final. 
You caught the walls are incredibly loud. The stakes are as high as they've ever been, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm not mistaken. We are on the cusp of achieving a new relationship with the dinosaurs. Forging revolutionary ideas because we're able to better understand the past. And boy, do we now. We're trying to put those accidents behind us. Well, if I may, uh, there are no accidents. Simply undiscovered reasons. Our mistake, humanity's mistake, is believing that we want to know the truth when the lie is more than enough to sustain us. These genetically manufactured dinosaurs, they're as real as we chose to make them. We've manipulated and crossbred dogs and cats and livestock for years. Why? Not for what they need, but for what we want out of the animals. And you think that's what we're doing now? You tell me. Any contact, no matter how slight and reasoned, introduces change. Is that not correct? Dr. Dua, enlighten us. For now, it's what we have to accept. Our job, my job, is to make sure these animals have the best care. As for the rest, let come what may. Yes, yes, how wonderfully uh, uh, chaotic of you. Interesting. That was cool. Also, yeah, Metric and Source does have a pattern, and it is the OG pattern from the website. Really nice. Even on the islands, we never created something this. Oh. This. I'm suspicious that perfect. the campaign has just well, ended. Considering <laughs> we can't let them run free, and the dinosaurs will never really know the life they should be living, it's as perfect as can be. I guess. We should be happy. But are we happy? Sorta? Okay, something's bothering you, and it's not me. No. So, what gives? This park. This isn't the dinosaurs find the stone. Is it? No, of course it's not. How could it be? It's too dangerous to have these animals this close to civilization. If they go, we go. You mean that, Owen? You realize what you're saying. We're a team. I know you, Claire. You won't turn your back on them. Which is a bad idea, by the way. Never do that. And neither can I. These animals are a destiny that we can't escape. Not just you and me, but everyone. That's something the Earth needs to come to terms with. Yeah, we either make this planet right, or the dinosaurs. They'll make it theirs. Interesting. Oh. Is that it? Oh wow, yeah. yeah Yosemite. Huh. Oh wait, huh. hmm. I don't know. In the language of the Miwok tribe, it means the Valley of the Killers. Fitting, isn't it? The strong prey on the weak. The hunter and the hunted constantly optimizing their size, their appearance, their strength, their vision. Their speed, the mind becoming ever better at that one task necessary for survival. Huh. Evolution is a never ending arms race that continues to this day. That's life. It embraces change. And now dinosaurs have returned to the Valley of the Killers. The question isn't do they belong in Yosemite? They most certainly do. No. No, the question is, will they stay? Huh. So I guess that's the end of the campaign. Interesting. Yeah, no, that's it. Yeah, that's campaign. So, um, incredibly short, of course. Uh, I think a lot of people have mentioned that. And you know what? Fair enough. I think it was quite short. My thoughts on it, it was really, really fun to play. I, I personally had a lot more fun playing it than I did the first game's campaign. The first game's campaign did feel like a lot of busy work and it was a little bit more tedious. This was a lot of fun, a good pace, interesting little story bits, though of course not a full narrative. Um, and uh, yeah, that's the only thing is that I would have played an, like 
an equal amount of length more or even more. I would play another 20 hours of this campaign because it was fun. The task we had to do was really good. Didn't feel like there was much downtime. Mm. But yeah, it was just perplexingly short. I think that's probably because Dominion got delayed, so they had to like cut short a lot of stuff that would have been considered spoilery, which means I assume we're going to get more stuff once Dominion drops, you know, fingers crossed. I, I think it kind of solely needs it because otherwise campaign is just too short. Besides that, we, you know, we have a whole host of other stuff to do here. I'll be playing Chaos Theory as well at some point. And uh, yeah, I had a blast with this. I really enjoyed it. I'm going to end up spending lots of time on sandbox and challenge mode and all that. So I'm excited. You know, it's a really promising start to what seems to be a really great game. So I'm excited to see where it goes. Um, if you liked that, please do leave a like on the video. Do subscribe for more Jurassic World Evolution 2 content. Um, yeah, I'll see you all in Chaos Theory mode, I suppose. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.